Hello. Nhà <cười> cô. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm great. Okay. Okay, let me share my screen. Um, uh, so today we're gonna move on to a new, uh, a new part of Unit Four, which is speaking. So, <clears throat> okay, do you see my share screen? Yes, I do. Okay, now today we're gonna move on to speaking part uh, about a restaurant. So after the speaking part, I hope that you can um, understand um, about the way that we can order food and drink when we are in a restaurant. Now, first of all, let's learn some vocabulary of this uh, unit of this part. The first one we have order. 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 Order means that you ask for something to eat or drink in a restaurant or a store or a bar. Um, when you are in a restaurant, when you want to um, when you want to eat something, you have to order. You have to call the waiter and then order the food. Um, may I order this one? May I order the pizza? May I order the milk tea? For example, so order means to ask for something to eat or drink. Okay. Um, next one, we have waiter. Waiter is a person um, who is served the customers at the tables in a restaurant or in a bar. Uh, so waiter is... When, when we are in a restaurant, do you see a lot of waiters and waitress, waitresses, waitresses like walking around the restaurant and wait for the customers to call them and then the customer will order the food and then they will bring the menu to them. Yes, so we call them wall waiter. Waiter. Um, so we have order and waiter. Like when we are in the restaurant, these these are two words that um, you know have to um, we have to remember when we want to when we are in a restaurant. You want to speak English. Okay, now let's learn um, the way that we want to order. This is a polite way, a formal way. Uh, we use I like, which is I would like. This is the ab abstraction of would like, I'd like, I would like. Uh, when we use I'd like is when we ask for something in a polite way. For example, I'd like some milk, please, or I would like some milk, or I'd like some tea, I'd like some coffee, I'd like some cheese. When, when we want uh, other people to give, uh, give to us, the food or drink, we can use I'd like, I'd like or I would like. And for the and this is for the affirmative sentences, but um, the question one, we have, would you like, would you like a sandwich? Would you, would you like some, some cheese? Would you like some bananas? When we want to offer something. Okay, do you understand? I would like and would you like? Uh, I, I understand. Good job. Uh, now, um, so let's reveal a little bit about the uncountable and countable nouns. Um, we have some um, uncountable noun, but they can be countable now when it goes with a cup of, or a glass of, or a bowl of. For example, milk is, un is an uncountable noun. But when milk goes with a cup or a glass of, it's gonna be 
comfortable. Can I have a cup of milk? Can I have a glass of milk? Or uh, can I have a cup of coffee? Yes, coffee uh, is an uncomfortable noun, but when it goes with a cup or a glass of, it would be um, it would become countable. Like um, we say coffee, a cup of coffee, tea, a cup of tea, milk, a glass of milk. They would change when they goes with this one. Okay, the next one, we can't do this with food words. Um, we, um, we say like a bowl of or a packet of when we when we use um, when we want to talk about food we don't use a cup or a glass of this one is for water it's for drink like it's for drink but it it doesn't go with um, the food we don't say a cup of bananas or a cup of pizza we have to say a bowl of soup a packet of fish or a can of um, potatoes or tomatoes, for example. Because there has a lot of, you know, partitive words like a bowl of, a packet of, a can of, a tin of, so many words. We call partitives, but we use a cup or a glass of, we use for drink. And this one we use for food. Just remember two things, don't mix them up. We don't say a cup of pizza. We just say a cup of for drink. Yes? Okay. Um, now, next one, we have um, description, the photo. So now look at the photo. Can you see the photo here? Yes. Um, now you have to describe the photo by using the words here. Look at menu, order, restaurant, sit, table, waiter, and write. And tell me um, some suggestions like what are they doing? What are they saying? Um, um, what is she doing? What is this girl doing? Like describe the photo by using these words. So you have two minutes to prepare for the speaking and then you're going to um, tell me, uh, describe the photo.
Okay, okay, finish. Okay, now tell me uh, what are you gonna describe the photo? Okay. Uh, Vivian and the boy are, <clears throat> are going, uh, us going, going in the restaurant and uh, girl and boy are sitting sitting and order the food or drink uh, the boy is is looking at the menu on on the table and and the girl are uh, wearing a uh, wearing a blue shirt are uh, writing the food of drink uh <clears throat> of drink the waiter and the waiter are writing the food of drink of 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 the game boy uh other Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Anything else or that's it? No. No. That's it. Finish um, speaking. Okay, so the first sentence, um, I heard that uh, you said the girl and the boy is uh, are sitting and in a restaurant, or we can say a couple, a couple is sitting in a restaurant and they are ordering some food. They are ordering some food or some drink, maybe some food or some drink. And the waiter here is writing down the food or the drink that they order. Yes. Um, and the man, the boy, the man here is looking at the menu on the table. And she is trying to find some food or some drink that uh, he wants to eat, and then he he order. Um, um. So the waiter is ask, um. The waiter is asking, "What would you like to order?" And the girl said, I would like to order some food or some drink. That's it. We have we have all the words here. 
So we use the structure. Would you like to order or what would you like to eat or what would you like to order? I would like to eat, I would like to drink or I would like to order some pizza. I would like to uh, drink some coffee. So this is the structure that we used in a polite way when we are in a restaurant, when we want to offer something. Okay. So that's it for the first task, which is description the photo. Now we're gonna move to the second one. Now you're gonna um, listen and we have to read and then listen to the dialogue here. And then you're gonna complete, you're gonna fill in the blanks, complete the dialogues with the food that they order from the menu. This is the food that they order from the menu. And let's let's listen. What do you what or what are you gonna write in this blank? Okay, now listen carefully and choose uh, and write the correct words. Lesson four G, exercise two. Hi, are you ready to order? Yes, we are. I'd like the salad to start, please. And for your main course. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Thank you. And for you, sir? I'd like the soup to start, please, followed by the roast lamb. Thank you. Would you like anything to drink? Can I have an orange juice, please? Of course. The same for me, please. So that's two orange juices. Thank you. Okay, that's it for listening. Uh, have you got all the answers or do you want to hear the second time? Uh, can I answer again? Okay. Lesson 4G, exercise two. Hi, are you ready to order? Yes, we are. I'd like the salad to start, please. And for your main course, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Thank you. And for you, sir? I'd like the soup to start, please, followed by the roast lamb. Thank you. Would you like anything to drink? Can I have an orange juice, please? Of course. The same for me, please. So that's two orange juices. Thank you. OK, that is the end of the listening part. Um, now, uh, give me your answer from number one to number five. What is the answer for number one? Uh, I think it's salad. Salad. Uh, number two. Uh, number two is fish and fish and chips. Yes, fish and chips. Uh, number three. Soup. Soup. I less the soup to start, followed by the followed by the um, roast roast beef. Roast beef. You mean here? Yes. Okay, so roast beef. Uh, can I have an number five? Orange juice. Orange juice. Okay, now we're gonna listen again and check the answer if it is true or not. Okay. Lesson 4G, exercise two. Hi, are you ready to order? Yes, we are. I'd like the salad to start, please. Okay, and for your so number one, I'd like the salad to start, please. So salad here is correct. Ah, I'd like the salad to start, please. And for your main course, fish and chips, fish and chips. Okay, so fish and chips. 
Do you hear the connect here? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Okay. Fish and chips is number two. Thank you. And for you, sir? I'd like the soup to start, please. Followed by the roast. I'd like the soup to start, please. And followed by the... Slab. Thank you. By the roast lamb. Thank you. By the roast lamb. By the roast lamb. Not roast beef. Lamb. Lesson Forge. Thank you. And for you, sir? I'd like the soup to start, please. Thank you. Would you like anything to drink? Can I have an orange juice, please? Of course. Okay, can I have an orange juice, please? Of course. The same for me, please. So that's two orange juices. Thank you. Okay, so we have salad, fish and chips, uh, soup, roast lamb, and orange juice is all the answer for task two. Now we're going to move to the next one. Okay, and in this task, you're going to find out how many examples of would like uh, can you find in this dialogue. Uh, you can find it in affirmative form or interrogative form, which is question. This one is question form. Affirmative or interrogative? Okay. Uh, the first one. I'd like to select to start. I'd like to... I'd like to start. The salad to start, please. Okay. I'd like the soup to start. I'd like the soup to start, please. Would you like anything to drink? Would you like anything to drink? Yes. Anything else? No. That's it? Okay, so we have three examples of would like in affirmative and interrogative form. Uh, very easy to find. Now, so now we're going to move to another part. Um, this part, you are going to listen to dialogues one to four between two customers and the witches from task two. Okay, so you have to tell me in which dialogue from one to four do the customer ask for a menu? For example, the customers ask for a menu in dialogue one, in dialogue two, in dialogue three, or in dialogue four. You have to choose from dialogue one to, to dialogue four. And for each question here, okay, do you understand the, do you understand here? Okay, now let's listen and choose answer. Lesson 4G, exercises five and six. One, good evening. Can we have a table for two, please? Certainly. Is that table by the window okay? Yes, that's perfect. Thanks. Can we see the menu, please? Yes, of course. One moment. Here you are. Thanks. Would you like to order drinks now? No, it's okay. We can order drinks with the food. Of course. Two. 
Is everything okay for you? Yes, it's great. The fish is really nice. Actually, can I have some bread, please? Certainly. Anything else? I'd like some water, please. Of course. Would you like some water, sir? Yes, I would. Thank you. Anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Three. Excuse me. Yes. Can I help you? Can we see the dessert menu, please? Yes, of course. Here you are. Uh, I'd like the fruit salad, please. Fruit salad. And for you, madam? Chocolate cake, please. <laughs> so that's one fruit salad and one chocolate cake. Thank you. Thanks. Four. Would you like a coffee or a tea? No, thank you. Can we have the bill, please? Yes, of course. One moment. Here's your bill. Does it include service? No, it doesn't. OK, thanks. How much is it? It's £54. That isn't expensive. No, it's a good cafe. And the waiters are nice. Yes. Let's leave a tip. Okay. Have you got all the answers? Yes. Okay. Um, so in which dialogue do the customer ask for a menu? Uh, the dialogue is one in three. One in three. Good. Uh, in which dialogue um, do the customer order or ask for food and drink? Two and three and four. Two and three and four. Okay, two and three and four. Uh, and which dialogue ask for the bill? Dialogue C. Dialogue C? Ah, no. Four. <laughs> dialogue four. Okay, now I think some answers are, are correct, but some are wrong. And now let's listen again and check the answer. Lesson 4G, exercises 5 and 6. 1. Good evening. Can we have a table for two, please? Certainly. Is that table by the window okay? Yes, that's perfect. Thanks. Can we see the menu, please? Yeah. Okay, so she's asked, can we see the menu? So the first one, we have the dialogue one. The customers ask for a menu. Yes, of course. One moment. Here you are. Thanks. Would you like to order drinks now? No, it's okay. We can order drinks with the food. Of course. So they don't, they don't want to order the food now. So let's see if the dialogue two. Two. Is everything okay for you? Yes, it's great. The fish is really nice. Actually, can I have some bread, please? Okay, so he said, he said can I have some bread? Which means that they are for food, okay. The order the food, the bread. Anything else? I'd like some water, please. I'd like some water, which means that they ask for drink. Of course. Would you like some water, sir? Yes, I would. Thank you. Anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Okay, so in dialogue uh, number two, they order the bread and the water. Three. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Can we see the dessert menu, please? Yes, of course. Okay, so again, in dialogue three, the girl said, can we see the dessert menu? So they want to ask for a menu. 
So number three is um, in dialogue number three, they ask for a menu again. Here you are. Uh, I'd like the fruit salad, please. Okay, so the boy uh, would like to order the salad, which means that the in dialogue number three, they ask, they order for food, right? So <coughs> uh, A, we have dialogue number one and dialogue number three, and B, we have dialogue number two and dialogue number three. Let's see if the dialogue number four, do they order for food or drink? Fruit salad. And for you, madam? Chocolate cake, please. <laughs> so that's one fruit salad and one chocolate cake. Thank you. Thanks. Four. Would you like a coffee or a tea? No, thank you. Can we have the bill, please? Okay, so do you hear, uh, would you like um, coffee? And he said, no, thanks. So number four, they don't ask for drink. Okay, and they, and they, and he asked, can I have the bill? Which means that uh, in dialogue number four, they ask for the bill. So they don't uh, order th the drink anymore in dialogue number four. They want to know the bill. Uh, do you know what bills mean? What bill means? Oh, yes, exactly. Okay, good. So here is um, the, the answer. In dialogue number one and number three, they ask for a menu. In dialogue number two and number three, they ask for food and for drink. And in dialogue number four, they ask for the bill. Okay, that's it for task four. Next one, we have listening part again. Now you have you are going to listen again the dialogue and complete the phrases, and then tell me. Okay. Now, first of all, let's see um, who say this. Can you wait me a minute? Okay, do you, do you see my share screen? Yes. Okay. okay, now you're gonna listen and complete all the phrases. And uh, tell me, uh, if the, if um, number one, the waiter or the customer says this. If it is the customer, you're gonna write C, or if it, it is the waiter, you're gonna write W, okay? C for customer and W for waiter. Lesson 4G, exercises five and six. One. Good evening. Can we have a table for two, please? Certainly. Is that table by the window okay? Yes, that's perfect. Thanks. Can we see the menu, please? Yes, of course. One moment. Here you are. Thanks. Would you like to order drinks now? No, it's okay. We can order drinks with the food. Of course. Is everything okay for you? Yes, it's great. The fish is really nice. Actually, can I have some bread, please? Certainly. Anything else? I'd like some water, please. Of course. Would you like some water, sir? Yes, I would. Thank you. Anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Three. Excuse me. Yes. Can I help you? Can we see the dessert menu, please? Yes, of course. Here you are. Uh, I'd like the fruit salad, please. Fruit salad. And for you, madam? 
chocolate cake, please. <laughs> so that's one fruit salad and one chocolate cake. Thank you. Thanks. Four. Would you like a coffee or a tea? No, thank you. Can we have the bill, please? Yes, of course. One moment. Here's your bill. Does it include service? No, it doesn't. OK, thanks. How much is it? It's £54. That isn't expensive. No, it's a good cafe. And the waiters are nice. Yes. Let's leave a tip. OK, that's it. Like we have four times listening to this dialogue. Okay, now let's give me the answer for number one. Um, can you complete the, this phrase? Can we have a table? Can we have a table for two? Can we have a table for two? That's right. Two. Okay, so um, who say this one? The waiter or the customer? Uh, customer is the customer. Okay, number two. Number two. Can we see the menu? Can we see the menu, please? So, who say this one? Customer. The customer. Uh, number three is everything. Is everything. Is everything okay for you? Is everything okay for you? That's right. Okay, number four. Uh, uh, no, who, who said this one? Um, waiter. Waiter. Uh, number four. I got some water. I I got. Uh, I I uh, no I I would like. I like. You mean I like like this? I like some water, please. Yes. And uh, who says this one? The customer. The customer. It's very easy to see who said this. Um, and number five. And for you. Madam. For you, madam. That's right. And this one is? The waiter. Waiter. Easy. Number six. Would you like? Would you like a coffee or a tea? And uh, and who, who and says this? Who says the way? The waiter. We, That's right. Number seven. Can we have the bill? Can we have the bill? Very good. Customer. The customer says, um, number eight. Uh, number eight, I come here. Mm, okay. And number nine. Uh, at, uh, I can hear you. Okay, so I think from number one to number seven, you are correct. So we're gonna listen from number four, from number set, from number um, eight to number nine, which is in dialogue four, I think. Would you like a coffee or a tea? Yes. No, thank you. Can we have the bill, please? Yes, of course. Bill? One moment. Here's your bill. 
Does it include service? Does it include service? Does it include service? So this is the customer says, does it include service? Yes. Does it? It's 54 pounds. That isn't expensive. No, it's a good cafe. It's and good the cafe. waiters are nice. Yes. Let's leave a tip. Do you hear that? Let's leave a tip. And this one is also the customer. Let's leave a tip means that they want to um they want to tip for the waiter because the cafe is really good and the, the waiter really nice. So they want to tip for them. Mean they want to, you know, pay more money, pay extra money for them. So we have let's leave a tip. Okay. Uh, so finish this one. And this is the transcript. You can look at it later. And uh, now, uh, in this one, you are, can you find for me a countable noun that can also be uncountable noun? And tell me, uh, is it food or drink? Okay. Which one can be countable and also uncountable? Um, so, um, you know, uh, as I mentioned before, and, and as I mentioned earlier, we have the word milk can be uncountable when it is alone. And uh, so, but when it goes with a cup of, or a glass of, it can be countable. A cup of milk, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, like they can be both countable and uncountable noun. So which word in this dialogue can you can you see that it can be a accountable and uncountable? An orange, orange juice. An orange juice. That's right. It can be countable, or it can be uncountable. We have an orange juice, two orange juices, three orange juices, and four orange juices. So it can be both countable and uncountable. So is it uh, orange juice, food, or drink? Food or drink? Orange juice. Orange juice, or drink. orange juice is drink. Yes. Yeah. So orange juice is drink. Uh, okay. So I think that we just finished the gram are they listening and some part of speaking. So I think this one. We're gonna leave, we're gonna save this one on uh, to the next lesson because the time the time is over now. It's uh, 46 now. So this slide and this slide. We are uh, in the next lesson, we're gonna discuss this one. Okay, do you agree? Yes, so um, that's it for today. Thank you for your attention and your participation. Uh, do remember to do your homework and see you next time. See you next time. Thank you.
Thank you.